Hey everyone, welcome back to Real with Lou. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the best productivity apps that I have on my iPhone for 2019. So if you guys need help with keeping your life more seamless, being that you're busy and trying to stay organized, definitely keep watching this video. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. First up is Trello. Trello is a project management tool where you can organize your to-do list and your tasks and it's a very fun tool. You can organize it into boards and cards and it's a great way to see all the tasks that you have to do when you're doing it in the progress or whatever. You can also put a description and label details and everything. So I'm just going to show you mine for my graduate school. Hey, I got the dab on it. Hey, that's going to be me in five years. But anyway, I labeled it from to do in progress and done. And here are some of my tasks that I have. So this is my move across the country task, the due date July 1st, because that's one of my plane is set off. And I just added a little description here where you can add whatever details related to your task. So my journey to Cali. And so after that, you can add whatever you want. <laughs> after that, you can um, basically just go in here and create a checklist. I labeled mine action items. And here are some of mine. Um, buy my plane ticket, ship car, pack furniture, and cry, because I'm definitely gonna do a whole lot of crying. And you can definitely check off anything that you've done. And that's Trello for you. Next up is Google Keep. I love Google Keep because I like to use this more than my iPhone Notes app. So anything that I forget, I put there. You can add notes, lists, photos, and audio. Um, I mainly also keep this for gift ideas. Um, when my friends and family have anything that I think about them with, I add that in there. And um, you can also color coordinate it, so you can, you know, with the labeling like Trello has as well. And this also is iPhone app and on desktop. So this is my Google Keep. These are my labels for my businesses, my YouTube channel, research, loved ones. So these are all of my favorite people, well, some of my favorite people. And that's what I have some stuff for them in there. This is my YouTube, but I have content ideas, my logo, and my research ideas that I have. And these are all the notes collectively together. So I have a very few, and you can search between lists, images, labels, and so forth. So this is Google Keep. Next up is Strides. Strides is a habit tracker app. I love this because I need to be more consistent and this app helps me be more consistent in the goals that I actually put in my to-do list. So they actually, when you check off what you completed, they give you a goal streak and see your average and how good you're doing. And this is good for smart goals. Um, it helps you stay motivated and focused on everything that you need. So I definitely recommend this to anyone who actually have to-do lists and who need help actually completing these tasks and these items. And they also curate a lot of the, the habits for you. So here are a list of topics that you can kind of create habits for. So these are businesses if you need help building an email list, your taxes, track business expenses. Here is um, also um, a my favorite one is a productivity um, genre. Definitely use the planning my day daily, um, work on side projects. I'm just gonna add this one to my habit app. Um, also, you can select which days that you want to log the time. So I'm gonna do, uh, let's see, Sunday, Tuesday, and uh, maybe hmm, Thursday. So I'll do that and then every day they're gonna notify me to check it off whether or not I completed it. So I actually love this app, this is so good. And these are all the things that I have in my habit app. Uh, I'm not really good, as you can see, I have a bad score. <laughs> so, um, but definitely this is something you guys need to get. So there you guys have it, all of the best productivity apps that I use on my iPhone for 2019. Thank you for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe and watch for more videos. Bye!